everybody, I am the Craft Ecula Creator and today I am sharing a process video for Craft Roulette Revisited episode 86. This is the card I made but stay tuned for the hidden surprise at the end. I'm going to share a fun fold tutorial as part of the video and a way to add glitter without the mess. Ooh. As this is a Craft Roulette process video, I have parameters to meet, these are displayed on the screen. For this card I will be using Lawn Fawn Frosty Fairy Friends, Snowflake Confetti, Lawn Fawn Let It Shine Snowflakes in Teal and any other products will be listed below. To incorporate the folded corner for the random parameter I wanted to try a new kind of fun fold. I did a search on Pinterest and found a craft blogger called Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch. She shared a great tutorial on a pinwheel style fun fold with a hidden surprise. The blog post can be found in the description below. Following the instructions in the tutorial, first I cut 1.5 inch sections into the corners of a 6x6 piece of pattern paper. Next I score each side using a scoring tool and a bone folder. Then I fold each of the four edges to meet the score line using a bone folder to get a neat fold. Then I flip over the entire piece and fold each side into the centre. Finally I tuck in the last edge. Once this has been made I cut a plain white piece of cardstock for my images and sentiment to fit inside. Time to colour some images. I chose fairy for the kid element and I match my colour scheme to the patterned paper as per the colour parameter. As I colour the images for the card, I will take this opportunity to tell you about Craft Roulette. It is the ultimate YouTube card making game show on almost every Friday evening at 6.10pm Central Time in the US, 12.10am UK time. Mary Gunn, the hostess, spins the wheel. Four craft parameters are chosen, guest crafters react, collect supplies and then spend a while crafting and chatting. It allows a great community of crafters from all over the world to get together via YouTube, the Craft Roulette Facebook page and the amazing craftroulette.live website. I just knew this little fairy needed some sparkle, so I used the no mess, no fuss method to add glitter. I have learnt this method from Jen Shirkus. The main tips to take away are to have a large container for the glitter, I used Lawn Form Prisma Glitter, and to use a fine tip glue pen, I used a quickie glue pen. I also find it easier to use tweezers. I put a small amount of glue on an area, place the image into the glitter box to coat the glued area in glitter. I lift out the image and tap the back with the end of the glue pen. This removes any excess. I repeat this until all areas are glittered. The quickie glue pen dries quickly so there is no need to have a drying time and images can be attached straight away. Off screen I stamped my sentiment using Lawn Fawn Merman ink as I thought black ink was a little bit harsh for this. And I attached my glittered fairy to the panel. I also add a little glitter to her wand. I glue the panel and attach it to the teal fun fold element. I take care to fold the flaps and tuck in the final one just as before. I take a 6x6 six six piece of teal paper decorated with foil snowflakes and attach this to the card base. I then place a white cardstock panel at a diagonal angle and finally add the fun fold element. But at this point, before attaching the fun fold, I realise it needs something else. I stamp and colour an additional fairy and add glitter to her in the same way as before. I fussy cut her out off screen and add glitter in the same way as before. Mm -hmm. 
I attach her to one of the corners and then attach the panel using liquid glue. I add liquid glue to the back and attach the front fold. For embellishment, I use tiny snowflake confetti to the inside of the front fold and off screen I attach small teal flat backed pearls to the corners of the white panel. Ta-da! Unfold! Ta-da! Oh how I love those double ta-da moments! The card is complete! I hope you find the tutorial for this fun fold informative and enjoy the hidden surprise that I hope was worth the wait. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I'll be back soon.